It's your boy Ezra KJ300. Y'all know I'm coming. Y'all, I was so happy after the draft last night. Y'all don't understand how good it feels to say I'm going to watch Trey Young with the Hawks. Every time the Hawks play against one of my favorite players, I wa I went there to watch my favorite player. I didn't go there to watch the Hawks. I didn't go there to watch Paul Mills at the White House. None of these players are playing with the Hawks. I didn't watch uh, go to watch them. I'm going to watch Trey Young. I'm going to watch Trey Young. I said they better pick Luka or Trey Young. They picked both, traded one away, and got the other one. So I'm good with that. A lot of people ask me questions about the draft. I'm going to hit on all the points people will ask me about. Um, I'm going to give my complete reaction on this draft. I got a lot of videos coming with this, but I'm going to give y'all my sleepers and all that right here. Number one, obvious. DeAndre Ayton, the uh, media forced the Suns to take DeAndre Ayton. They didn't look at anybody else because everybody was saying DeAndre Ayton or nobody. This team is trash. They better pick DeAndre Ayton, the best player in the draft. Okay. And then he said he said a little bit of uh, Kobe and Shaq 2.0. You better hurry up and be Shaq because uh, Devin Booker will leave and you'll be Shaq by yourself. That's exactly what it's going to be. Because if this don't work out, Devin Booker not stand. Two, Marvin Bagley. I think he was the only player that wanted to go to the uh, Kings. They got De'Aaron Fox, Marvin Bagley, uh, by Donovich, I think this is his name, uh, Buddy Hill. They got good players. It's time for them to put something together and literally do something. Number three, like I said, the uh, Hawks drafted Luka, and then they traded him uh, to the Mavericks for um, Trey Young. So Trey Young, number three. Trey Young. With the Hawks, I'm so happy. I want a Luka or a Trey Young, and then we got one of them. We got one of them, so I'm happy about that. It's for the culture, Quavo, me, 2 chains. All, all of us going to be in the games. All of us going to be there. Number four, Jaren Jackson. I don't know if he came to his senses and said that he want to play with the uh, Grizzlies, but I saw that he wasn't giving his medical records to them, and they still picked him. So I don't know what the situation is with the Grizzlies. I don't like the Grizzlies. I was hoping they didn't pick Luka. They picked Jaron Jackson. I hope it works out for him, but I'll talk about that later. Five, Luka to the Mavericks. I love that. I love it. Him, uh, Dirt. Him, Luka and Dennis Smith Jr. backcourt is going to be something to see. It is going to be something. They're still going to be garbage next year probably, but it's going to be something to see in the future. And I love Luka, so y'all know I'm always on that train right there. Number six, uh, Mo Bumble going to the – Orlando Magic. I don't see. I didn't think they would pick another big man because they got big men. I thought they were gonna try to get a point guard in this draft, but they got Bumble, and it's hard to pass on him because they talking about his wingspan, all this stuff he can do, his upside, and everything like that. So it was a good pick for them, but I don't understand why they picked another big man when they got a lot of them. When I uh, think they should have got a guard. Number seven, Wendell Carter Jr. I didn't see this coming. I thought the Bulls would pick Michael Porter Jr. I'm going to talk about that in a minute, but um, he is a good player. Uh, Wendell Carter and Lord Marketing, Zach Levine, Chris Dunn, young team, uh, Marketing played very good last year, and Wendell Carter is going to play very good with him uh, in the post. Uh, number eight, Colin Sexton. Roll tide until it's over with. Colin Sexton is not Kyrie Irving to me. He's not, but he has the complete drive and work ethic to be one of the best players. He can, his ceiling is so high to me because he works so hard. I, I love Colin Sexton, and they say, can this keep LeBron James or whatever? I don't know if it can, but Colin Sexton is going to work hard. I know he will make free throws. I know he's not George Hill. I know he will guard somebody. I know Steph Curry is going to have to cross him over before he not play defense. So Colin Sexton was a great pick for the Cavs. Great pick. Number nine, my sleeper in the draft was Kevin Knox. This was my sleeper. All the New York Knicks fans wrote me and said, we want a Michael Porter Jr. Why did we get Kevin Knox? Kevin Knox, if if Kevin Knox ends up being a bust, y'all can blame me. Y'all can blame me. But I see so much potential in Kevin Knox. Um, John Calipari don't get enough uh, credit with him getting these shooters ready for the NBA. I see a little Devin Booker in Kevin Knox. He can shoot the ball, and he is tall. And I would hope he's falling all the way down to the books. I hope he followed down, but he went to the Knicks, and this is a great pick for the Knicks. A lot of people were born. Once again, like they booed Christoph Porzingis, one of Michael Porter Jr., but he was injured. And, I mean, they could have probably um, picked him still, but Kevin Knox is a good player, so I expect him to do good things. And, if I, like I said, if he a bust, y'all can blame me. Number 10. Okay, Bridges was picked to the 76ers, and I thought that was a perfect fit because of J.J. Reddick. J.J. Reddick is a free agent. Um, You need a shooter. J.J. Reddick don't play. He could play defense, but he is not a better defender than Bridges. So I said, this is perfect. He is a spot-up shooter. Uh, ben Simmons is going to get him open to shoot threes. You got Jordan B. 
He is going to be spaced out. He will be by himself. They will help on other players, and he will be wide open threes, and he can play a ton of defense. I thought this was a great pick. His mama worked there, and he was so happy about that. Then they trade him. They trade him for uh, Smith uh, to the Phoenix Suns, and I I do not understand it. I do not understand it. I don't understand it at all. So y'all let me know what y'all think about that. Number 11, um, Alexander. He was picked, and he is trade. He was traded to the uh, Clippers, and I like that. So I I like that more than a couple things that happened last night because I see him as being a good player too. Uh, long wingspan, uh, somebody that's gonna get it to you. Who gonna play defense? He can play offense. He has a lot of upside. Then Bridges went to the Charlotte Hornets. I the Hornets is just it just feel like a bad vibe to me. So I hope Bridges can do it. I think they're finna trade Kim Walker. They got rid of Dwight Howard, so there is a lot of stuff going on with them. Uh, Robinson uh, was a good pick, too. Uh, 14, Michael Porter Jr. If Michael Porter Jr. can stay healthy and not, like I said, stay healthy with these Nuggets, with Jokic and all this firepower they got on offense, they are going to be so good. I'm literally telling you now, with him and Jokic and Murray and Harris and all these shooters they got, it is going to be over. So I hope everybody else, can really see that they took um that the Denver Nugget got a steal in this draft with Mike Porter Jr. I hope he can stay uh, healthy. But I'm saying if he can stay healthy, this dude is going to be so good. He probably will be one of the best players in this draft. Uh number 15, Brown. He was a good pick for the um on Wizards 2. Uh 16, like I said, Bridges got traded and was he is with the Suns now. Um who else? Uh number 17, the Bucks. Dante I forgot. I can't say his name, last name, but he played with the Villano with Villanova. This dude right here with Giannis, he is a shooter. He is very athletic. This was a great pick for the Bucks. I I thought they were gonna blow it, and I was hoping Michael Porter Jr. fell down to the Bucks, and that was gonna be a whole different type of level of disaster for the uh, for the NBA. But Dante, dog. Complete dog. He is going to get in you. He he can shoot threes. Somebody do what they need on the Bucks. Somebody um, that can. Catch the ball and make the wide number threes. Make wide number threes. And then he can play defense and he can dunk. He can do all the other stuff. So I think that was a great pick. Now, 18 with my boy uh, Lonnie Walker. That right there could be another big steal in the draft. This dude with Greg Popovich. With Greg Popovich and Lonnie Walker, he is very athletic. He is determined. He has work ethic. He can, um, he, he is a shot creator. He is a shot creator. And with, the Spurs is a perfect fit. It's a perfect fit. Um, who else? I'm going to go down to Grayson Allen. I'm all about situations. I'm all about your situation is how good you can be because of what you can get out of yourself and what your coaches want out of you. Grayson Allen with the Jazz is perfect. I see that as perfect. Him and Donovan Mitchell, um, he can play defense. Donovan Mitchell loves to have the ball in his hand, and he can pass it. He, he loves to play make, so he can be wide open. He can make threes. He can dunk. He can do all this stuff, and I believe um, the Jazz, Quinn Snyder, is going to make Grayson Allen a great player in his, um, in his draft and in his career. Uh, I'm going to go to Holiday. Holiday with the Pacers. If they keep Victor Oladipo in his team intact, he is very good. He, he reminds me of Victor Oladipo. He can do everything on the court. He plays defense. He can shoot threes and drive the ball. He can uh, pass the ball. He can dribble the ball. He can do everything. He can do everything in the draft, and that's going to be a good pick at 23. I'm going to go to my Lakers. Um, they picked the guy from Michigan. He can shoot threes. I'm not even worried about the draft with them. I'm worried about this offseason. Um, 27, Williams. This dude right here, if they can put him, if they can mold him into a player, the player I think he could be, that is going to be a steal also. So, like I said, this is just my rundown of the draft. I'm going to have more videos on um, what can go on or who I think can be the uh, top, the best player in the draft and all that. But like I said, the Kevin Knox, the uh, Colin Sexton, Luca, and all this, y'all come in and let me know what y'all think about that. Y'all let me know. But Kevin Knox is a good player. He can be a great player. So, uh, so I don't see that as bad for the uh, Knicks not getting Michael Porter Jr. because he's hurt. But if he can stay healthy and be that player that scored him 30 points, it's going to be over with. So y'all let me know what y'all think. It's your boy LZKJ300. Y'all know in the comments. You like, share, subscribe, and let's get these digits.